Given the recent explosion of interest in artificial intelligence or AI and its application to writing, I decided to demonstrate how AI based tools can help you perform business analysis tasks. Now, there are, there are a variety of these apps currently evolving, but I decided to use a tool called Jasper because of its popularity and its capabilities. So I'm going to use screenshots to demonstrate how to use Jasper for extracting functions in verb object form out of interview notes so that I can get my DFD started. So for starters here, you need to access the Jasper homepage and obviously sign up for an account. Once you're logged in, you can easily create a new project by clicking on new project <laughs> and opening a new document. This is where I'm going to put the interview notes that I want to analyze. Now to ask Jasper to give me a list of the functions, I need to engineer a prompt in a manner that Jasper clearly understands what I want. So I'm going to ask it to identify all functions that the software needs to deliver a solution to the defined problems. Express each function in the form of an active verb and a direct object. For example, order goods, create invoice, etc. Giving Jasper examples of the desired output generally greatly increases the likelihood that it will deliver great content. So Jasper has processed my interview notes and here are all the functions it recognized. I get a list of functions, but how good are they? Well, with the current state of AI writers, it's critically important that you fact check them before you accept anything they suggest, really. In this case, I think the best and simplest way to do that is to compare what Jasper suggests with the results that, that we created manually in the previous lecture. Let's see how our fancy AI app holds up here. I'm going to start by going down the manual list and see what, if any, Jasper found. Okay, let's see. Trigger action. Hmm. I well, we don't see that in his list, but uh, it's not a real function anyway. So, yeah, no, that's fine. Same is true of that receive orders, complaints, and payments. It's really just a data flow uh, there. Sort mail? Well, that's also missing, but then that, that wasn't a real obvious thing from the interview notes anyway. Ah, verify credit. That matches the verify credit status. I'd count that as a hit. Validate item, so that's certainly the check inventory function, since the only reason we're checking inventory is to validate that the items exist. Send orders certainly matches send orders to credit department. That's three in a row. Hold orders, it's missing, but you know, then again, I'm not sure that is a function anyway. Accumulate orders. Well, Jasper has accumulate and group orders into shipping zones. Now, I had them split, and I'd have to say I'm never a fan of having a function that has the word and in the middle of it. I look at that as two functions. So I'm going to give Jasper basically a hit for each one. Transmit valid orders matches transmit orders to fulfillment center. Wow. Okay. Fill orders is missing, but since that's done in the warehouse, it's pretty much out of scope for our project anyway. I get actually, I think six out of these are matches, so that's pretty darn good. Jasper actually identified a whole bunch more functions than I did. So what's up with that? Well, when I look at those functions, I realize that they're all legitimate functions, but they're not things that the order entry department is responsible for. They're done by different departments. So they're really out of scope for our project. And since the interview notes describe the work that is done in the warehouse, customer service, accounting, credit, I can't really fault Jasper for mentioning those functions as well. Well, you know, I don't know about you, but I was very impressed with Jasper's list. It gave me food for thought. I can see that it does take into account the various functions that are done in order entry. I think the tool is a good starting point for us to begin thinking about what needs to be included in this project. So I'd say Jasper is a great tool for ideation or what we're calling AI storming. Since it comes up with an initial list of functions or features that we can evaluate. However, it cannot be used as a replacement for business analysis or requirements gathering. You still need to confirm the results with domain experts and developers to ensure that everyone's on board and you know, you're not missing anything, nothing's overlooked. For the record, none of the interactions with Jasper in this presentation are faked or manipulated. The outcome I got was on the first try without tweaking. I have, however, been practicing my prompt engineering to see how I can improve that.
That said, there is no guarantee that anyone trying to duplicate this, even with my data, will get the same results. Even when I gave Jasper the exact same input, it returned different results. And that is the nature of AI at this point. And because of that, I strongly suggest fact-checking and confirming any results you get before you share it or, heaven forbid, rely on it for being exactly correct.